Right now, we're ready for whatever may come our way right now. Now at six, more than 50 tons of salt on standby. ODOT is preparing for the possibility of snow in the coming days. A Saudi college student vanishes after allegedly hitting and killing a Portland high school student. It really just ripped all of the trauma and wounds back open. Now lawmakers want to know if the Saudi government helped him escape. Plus, the same technology that caught the Golden State Killer helped solve a Portland murder that happened 40 years ago. And Super Bowl fever sweeps Atlanta. As the city prepares to host the Patriots and the Rams, we want to know who you're cheering for this Sunday. The 6 o'clock hour of KGW News at Sunrise starts right now. And we start this morning on your Friday with a live look outside. This is uh, in Estacada this morning, just downtown, courtesy of photographer Eric Patterson, who is there this morning. So all throughout Sunrise today, we are featuring your beautiful city for all of those of you who live in Estacada, and we want to feature the people who make it so great. The original plan put together by our wonderful producers was to have <laughs> Rod, I mean, yes. the man himself, that is me. in <laughs> Estacada. He was going to be in Estacada yeah, right now. But then we started talking about snow and ice, perhaps late into this weekend. I we thought you need to be here. Need to be in the, in the weather center. But I had a chance to go down there Tuesday and it was so sunny. We had the best time. Oh, and we're gonna have more of those stories coming up featuring Estacada shortly. All right, uh, outside right now. Rain has returned. The dry streak ended at eight days. Wow, what a dry streak it was. So at the bus stop we go. Right now it's just light showers. Be about 40 out the door. The wettest part of the day will be right around lunchtime. That could be steady rain. We think 47 degrees. Have the rain gear with the kids and scattered showers and pretty mild still. Could be 50 when they get out of school. Radar right now, just light scattered showers. There is steady rain at Story and Tillamook and that's what's going to be increasing in the coming hours. More on the forecast shortly. Here's Chris. I look forward to that. Uh, in the meantime, Rod, let's Let's take you to the drive. I want to take you in, out to the Banfield. We had some earlier trouble on I-84 near Grand Avenue. That crash is clear, but there's always a little residual delay, and so we can see that right now out towards the Hollywood District. Traffic westbound on I-84. It's just a little tight on that side of town. We'll switch gears real quick. We'll take you up to Clark County. I-5 looks good, but the ramp from SR-14 here, single file we go, trying to get onto the Interstate Bridge. And that's running a little slow as expected. Guys. Chris, thank you. Well, ODOT is already preparing for whatever happens with the weather on Monday morning. It has more than 50 bags of salt in storage. Each of them weighs more than a ton. So here's a look right now live at Sylvan Hill. Now we know this is always a problem spot when there's any snow or ice on the ground. So this is definitely one of the prime areas ODOT plans to target. Our Tim Gordon will break down more of ODOT's plan coming up in our next half hour. Like, even when a child dies, as when you're a parent, you still try to protect them, even when they're not with you anymore. Oh my gosh, I feel her pain. That is her first sit down interview. She is the mother of a Portland teenager killed in a hit and run almost three years ago. She's now talking about her daughter and the case that still hasn't been resolved. The picture you saw there is of Fallon Smart, Smart rather. She was 15 years old when police say a Saudi college student living here in Oregon hit her with his car and then just sped away. Fallon died and that college student skipped town. So we have Christine Pitawanich following the story for us this morning, live in studio. Uh, Christine, again, it's been three years, but it's clear that her mom is still trying to deal with the heartbreak. Good morning, Drew, Brenda. Yeah, Fallon's mom describes her as selfless, imaginative, intelligent, but all that came to a really tragic end. And then when the guy police say was responsible for her death, took off before his trial, the wound was ripped right back open. Now Fallon's mom is still demanding justice. Police say Abdul Rahman Nora was the driver behind the wheel in the hit and run that killed Fallon. He was a Saudi college student living in Oregon on a Saudi government stipend. He he pleaded not guilty and the Saudi consulate paid his $100,000 bail. But just before his trial, U.S. Marshals tell NBC News his ankle bracelet was cut off and he rode off in a black SUV, that one right there, and disappeared. Homeland Security told prosecutors he turned up about a week later back in Saudi Arabia. Nora is one of five young Saudis accused of crimes in Oregon, including two accused rapists and a pair of suspected hit and run drivers. All of them vanished. Victims' families and U.S. Marshals say Saudi diplomats likely spirited them out of the U.S. with forged passports on private planes, as first reported by the Oregonian. Meantime, Fallon's mom, still devastated, left without justice. 
I mean, my daughter was, she was just a girl still in a lot of ways, and she died a very violent death, and she at least deserved a legal system that put her killer in front of a jury of peers. That would have felt like justice, and it didn't happen. The Saudi government has not responded to our request for comment, but Oregon Senator Ron Wyden is demanding answers from the FBI. He wants to know if the Saudi government has helped any Saudi national get out of trouble here in Oregon. Back to you. Christine, thank you. That is such a tough story. It is 6.05 now. Time for some more headlines in your morning rush. Portland City officials say a piercing sound coming from a downtown 7-Eleven violates local code. Ooh, that is high pitched. That is the sound from the store that was uh, they were using it to drive away homeless campers who loitered outside. Well, a noise control officer says the sound was more than twice as loud as the legal limit. It is now turned off. The building owner is working with city officials to address safety concerns at that corner. A 40 year old cold case in Portland is now solved thanks to the technique used to catch the elusive Golden State Killer. Anna Marie Lavka was murdered in 1979 in Portland and the case quickly went cold. Last year, a forensic genealogist mapped a family tree using DNA evidence and it linked Jerry Walter McFadden to the crime. His family in Texas then agreed to submit their DNA and they matched it. McFadden was executed in 1999 for a murder in Texas. Temperatures are starting to rise today in the Midwest and the Northeast, but people there aren't in the clear yet. After days of bone chilling weather, warming temperatures could cause flooding as all the ice from the polar vortex melts. That is your morning rush. All right, it's 606. Let's head back out to Estacada. We are shining the spotlight on this beautiful Oregon town this morning. That's where Eric Patterson, our photojournalist, is giving us this live look. So we say good morning to all of our Estacada viewers there this morning. So that probably looks familiar yes. to you, Rod, because you were there just earlier this week. That's my favorite uh, store. So we're walking around. I look up at the store. It's, <laughs> it's a bizarre collection, if I may say, of, of storefronts in Estacada. So that one store we zoomed in on, they are a flower shop slash sportswear store. That makes they sell both? Out. Yes. And I thought, well, I need flowers <laughs> and sportswear. So, so. Imagine a uh, jock strap made of rose petals, Rod. Doesn't that make sense? Oh. No, moving on. All right, so Why? we win. Go. <laughs> That's what came into my mind. I got to am meet a lot of folks you into on the, the corner. Street. I'm listening. Continue. <laughs> also got to meet a lot of the store owners who love their town so much. And we asked that question. Why do you love living in Estacada? So Estacada is a good town. How big is so Estacada, by the way? Uh, about 3,000 people. It's kind of nice here. Everybody knows everybody. And it's a pretty nice place to raise your family. We have a lot of really good events out here that make me really love this town. We like, have, like what type of events? Like the Timberfest. I'm wearing the hat right now. The Estacated Timberfest is probably my favorite event. Or, um, we have vlogging competitions. That's always on the 4th of July every year. And so like during the summer, there's just event after event after event in Estacada. We're walking down Broadway, right? Yeah. Telling people why we're here, and they're like, you have to go talk to Sarah. Oh, She's okay. part of one of the oldest families in Estacada that dates back to how long ago? Oh my goodness, I don't even know how long ago, but early, early uh, 1900s, late 1800s probably. And your family still lives on the same land that they've handed down generation after yeah, generation? Yeah, my grandpa bought a couple hundred acres, and all of his boys live there, and now his grandkids are all living up there, and it's just family land that we all love to be next to each other. Was, doesn't Has anybody ever left? Yeah, but they come back. They come back? <laughs> we come back. Now we're getting somewhere. Why do they come back to Estacada? Because it's small roots. Um, we just love the, the feel of family here. And even people who aren't related become family. Come, come check us out. See what we have to offer. Estacada, USA. That's right. <laughs> You know, we also met a gentleman who has a, a barber shop there. So we're on the street talking with him. People are opening up their windows, yelling down at him. And all of a sudden, we're having this conversation from people <laughs> on the street and in, in and buildings with the windows open. Mm -hmm. It was wild. Okay. Still kind of a small town. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. <laughs>